I knew you were special police the minute I saw you. Deanna felt as if she stood on a precipice with a rapidly crumbling edge. At any moment, it might give way and pitch her headlong into a lightless abyss. I hope Lord Dess is paying you well for this, she said, then drove her elbow into his jaw. Flinging the car door open, she stumbled out and bolted for the road. Like a pouncing felion, Gomez seized her from behind before she'd gone half a dozen steps. He lifted her, struggling, into granite hard arms. His breath hot against her cheek, he growled, Deanna, listen to me, please. She sunk her teeth into the back of his gloved hand. He hissed in pain, and for a split second, his grip loosened. With wild strength born of terror and a desperate imperative to survive, Deanna tore free. Overbalanced, she stumbled forward and nearly fell to her knees, but her natural agility saved her. Her perception of time grew distorted, granting her a preternatural visualization of each moment as it happened. Hands outstretched and grasping, Gomez lunged toward her. She twisted under his reach and dove for the e-pistol on his hip. Caught by surprise, the pulley reacted too late to prevent his own disarming. With no thought for the consequences, Deanna turned the weapon on him and pressed the trigger node. He slammed into her, driving her down onto the hard packed dirt. The weight of his body crushed the air from her lungs. She writhed beneath him like a trapped serpent, trying to raise the gun so she could fire, but he had both her arms securely pinned. Drop it, the pulley commanded, his vise-like fingers tightening on Deanna's wrist until the pain forced her to release the pistol. Now you're going to listen to me. Why should I, she wheezed. Frowning, Gomez pushed up into a crouch, relieving the pressure on her chest while maintaining his hold on her arms. I'm not who you think I am. His voice sounded kind, soothing even, which only amplified Deanna's fear. Incredulous, she spat, you're my stepmother's assassin. You said so yourself. I said no such thing. I'm not here to take your life, Deanna. I'm here to save it. The absurdity of that assertion forced a cynical laugh from her throat. I don't believe you. Why are you torturing me? Just do it. In one smooth motion, Gomez rose to his feet and pulled her up with him. He thrust the e-pistol into her hand and backed away several steps. I'm at your mercy now, he said. You can shoot me, or you can listen to what I have to say. Deanna pointed the gun at his chest, stunned to speechless confusion by this sudden turn. Overhead, the mournful cry of a Dolora bird drifted on the light breeze. The smell of dust, machine oil, and wildflowers filled her nostrils. The e-pistol grew heavy in her grip, as if gravity and the weight of her own uncertainty conspired to spoil her aim. Gomez held himself in poised, watchful stillness. His hands hung relaxed by his sides. His face wore the serene look of a man at peace with his fate. To press the trigger now would be an act of murder. Deanna lowered the gun. I'm listening.